And now, from the San Francisco Bay Area, Shaw Pirelli and the Shaw Pirelli Law Show, bringing you what matters most with over 50,000 watts of power. Hi, this is another episode of our, of our podcast and we're going to talk about National Trust Weaver. Why is it an interesting um, interesting visa or a green card? Because the National Interest Weaver, Weaver is an EB2 green card. EB2 means Employment Based Category 2 and it goes straight to the green card. Why is it interesting? For There are three main reasons why it is interesting. For one, you don't need a labor certification so that you don't have to wait a long time to get a labor certification. Number two, you don't need an employer. And number three, if you are born um, in, um, in a country which is not India or China, you will be able to file for an adjustment of status and ultimately get a work permit. Let us look into how we can get a national interest waiver. Uh, national interest waiver, they don't have really definition, but the, the test that they are looking for is, is uh, was set in a case uh, a long time ago under the New York um, uh, transit uh, uh, test, which basically is the part where um, the three-part test is you are of substantial intrinsic merit and uh, in another way to say that is uh, to say that any, any reasonable person will agree that you are important. The work has applications of national in scope and number three the, the applicants continued work in this area by nature of he or her proven accomplishment and potential uh, has a potential to make future con contributions justifies that we need to waive the labor certification hence the word national interest waiver and if you have those three um, what they are looking for really in a national interest waiver is that your work will be uh, in national in scope so uh, in a way to put it is like the America really needs you and the whole thing is is needed by by you and um, I mean by not by you but uh, by America and the other element under the National Interest Waiver, you have to meet the requirements of the EB2 category. The EB2 category requires a bachelor's degree, which is an equivalent of a U.S. bachelor, which is usually four years degree plus five years experience or a master's degree. Uh, so it is very important that if you want to file for a National Interest Waiver, you need to meet the requirements of an EB2. And uh, the advantages, like I said, you don't need an employer. And number two, you you actually can uh, file this uh, pretty much in one shot and wait for the approval. And you can even file for an adjustment of status if you are if you are not from India or China, based on the visa visa built-in that we have right now. So, bottom line, it is a good idea to look into a national interest waiver. Although sometimes people think it's it's not something they want to have, but it is a good idea for other reasons. The other reason that I can find uh, that I can think is a national interest waiver is filed. The I-140 belongs to you. That means if you change job, uh, since the national interest waiver is a self petition, you you carry it with you. No employer can really revoke that. So that's another advantage of a national interest waiver. Oftentimes people don't know we have been able to bring people uh, directly from countries where uh, EB2 is current without with bypassing H1B or people who are students here can bypass the H1B process and go straight to the National Trust Waiver if they don't qualify for EB1A. So good luck to all and anything I'm telling you today is for educational purposes only. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. You should contact an attorney if you have any questions. The number to call 510-742-5887. The website to check attorneyonair.com. Attorneyonair.com. Thank you.